Hey guys, welcome to another video at the Toy Lounge and today we're going to be looking at another Power Team Elite 1 to 18 scale Humvee. So this is uh, another version of the Humvee from Power Team Elite as seen in my previous video. This one has also the seats in the rear so it's not like a pickup truck like the previous version. You've got the mounted gun up the top there. And if you want more detail, um, well a more detailed description of what these toys are, just have a look at my previous video. I've mentioned a lot about what these toys are and who makes them and why they're packaged this way. As you can see, two figures here as well with a bunch of accessories just like the previous vehicle I reviewed. On the back, you have the this Humvee in the box, the Humvee previously reviewed by myself and the other two variants. Logo there by the Power Team Elite. Made in China for Target Australia. I'll mention quickly these are in the special ops packaging made specifically for Target. But again they are a Power to Elite product. So that's enough about that. Let's get this thing opened up. It's been in my collection for over 12, 13 years now. 15 years, I guess, maybe. So I've been waiting a long time to open these guys up and now's the time and I'm happy to do it for you guys in this review. So we'll be back shortly. Okay, so we're back. We've got the Humvee outside of its box. Quickly looking at the figures included. Not much to say here that I didn't get to mention in my previous video. Just have some uh, rubber bands still on this figure here. You've got to remember I've kept this in storage and for the past 15 years now, so some of the rubber bands have kind of like melted onto the figures but easily removed so yeah pretty similar to the previous figures only difference being you've got the different head sculpts with the helmets whereas the previous figures had the boonie hats You've got one figure here with the uh, with the goggles on his helmet. Slightly different camo, but aside from the head sculpts, they're the same figures. So more troop uh, more troop builders. Moving those aside. We've got a, what looks like to be a communications backpack and it just, atta it just attaches with the rubber band. Just show you an example of how they fit on. Funny thing, I've never really attached these to these figures before, but it looks pretty straightforward. There you go. You've got your communications trooper reporting to duty. Are you able to call in reinforcement soldier? I don't think so. That's that's the best I can do with playing with these things. If you didn't notice, I don't play with toys. I display them. <laughs> uh, also got 
another canister or let me see if I can get that focus in or jerry can or whatever you want to call it again pretty much the same as what we got with the last vehicle another backpack we can attach this to this figure it's interesting how they have these rubber bands attached to them rather than plugging them in the back like you do with GI Joes but there that's how that fits okay another warped machine gun which I noticed with this toy line the only flimsy thing is the the machine guns they come with they're not that great I mean the detail is there but the ma they're made of a very very soft plastic this M16 you have a scope attached to the top and I'm sure you can find something similar in your toy collection if you collect this scale of military toys like G.I. Joe or BBI or something and here's another rifle with a larger scope what I really liked and your G.I. Joes will probably enjoy is the these set of binoculars they look kinda cool yeah I'll keep that for my Joes Someone tell me what this is. I'm guessing it's some kind of flare gun maybe or something. I'm not really sure. All you military experts, if you're watching, maybe you can help me out. Moving on, there's another accessory, my favourite accessory, which is uh, attached to this gun that's mounted onto the Humvee. You've got this ammo box, which came like that. And what you do is you can open that up, place the ammo inside, and simply just have it closed up and displayed like that. It's really cool. And the ammo can be unattached by just lifting that piece off the uh, the turret there we'll just get a closer look at the uh, the ammo that feeds into the turret nice detail there they're painted in a nice gold very realistic looking and yeah you can close off that turret as you do in real life also you have that rotation there that's really cool and up and down 
that's awesome and of course the operator of the turret would go into the vehicle and fit through this hole here that opens up this hatch and he'd operate the turret like so we'll just use a quick example I really love this. There you go. So when you have the figure installed on the turret, you can actually rotate him. I think it's a... Yeah, it's a full 180. 360, excuse me. Full 360 around. And the way that works is if you look inside, he's actually just, uh, he's got his feet dangling up there so he's got plenty of room to just rotate around so lots of uh, display options there yeah really happy with that really like that detail and of course removing the figure and you can just close it back up again have the turret facing on the back or down below like so when it's not in use go for a cruise in non-battle mode whatever you like Let's just get the, uh, adjust the camera a bit so we can get a full view. Again, uh, just with the previous vehicle. Very similar with the hollow uh, engine cab. You can see right through there. Another nice detail is the uh, boot in the back opens up like so you can play stuff in there whatever you like use for storage close it back up again So that's nice. And what do you think of this guys? Look how great it looks displayed with GI Joes. Got tunnel rod there. Manning the the turret. Taking down some cobras. General Hawk sitting in the back there. And just to compare again, here it is with uh, another GI Joe vehicle, the Split Fire. I'd say exact same scale. Perfect. I mean, even I'm looking at the steering wheels, they're almost the same size. So, a nice uh, backup support vehicle for your Split Fire if you like. These guys fit really well together. Will look awesome displayed together as a G.I. Joe convoy. So that rounds up this review of the Power Team Elite Humvee. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to pick one up? Do you already have one in your collection? What do you think about it? Stay tuned guys, I've got more of this stuff available for review. I've got some helicopters, some Jeeps, some other variations of this vehicle. Let me know what you guys think and what you'd prefer me to review next, be it another vehicle like this or a helicopter for example, I've got a Black Hawk and uh, an Apache and also a Bluebird so yeah, let me know what your preference is and I'll see you on the next video guys thanks for watching